Food pantries across the state report low food supplies for multiple reasons, including inflation and supply chain issues. And this is as many of those pantries report serving double the number of customers now compared to last year. And with SNAP benefits being reduced next month, state lawmakers are trying to pass a bill to help. Food assistance is not something Brian Clark ever thought he would need. I always had a job and um, provided for myself. But after being the victim of a violent crime, he sustained injuries that forced him to receive disability income and SNAP benefits, formerly known as food stamps. Due to emergency pandemic funding, he has been receiving more money for food. For the past two years, I've actually been able to eat three meals per day without um, without a struggle. More than 520,000 households in Washington state receive basic food benefits. On average, each household has been receiving an additional $171 each month as an emergency allotment during the pandemic. But that additional money ends this month. I'm concerned because I have no choice. Brian's food benefits will plummet more than 50%. Others will endure steeper decreases. Due to the sudden hardship, places like Northwest Harvest Soto Community Market are expecting more customers to walk in starting next month. We actually see the end of February to be something like a hunger cliff. Northwest Harvest CEO Thomas Reynolds says this comes as food pantries are facing low food supplies while dealing with an already increased need. Food banks are reporting to us that they're seeing between 30 percent and 100 percent more people participating in their food programs. That is why Reynolds is hoping House Bill 1784 will pass in the state legislature. Democratic Representative Mia Gregerson of King County sponsored the bill. The pandemic may be over for many, but it's definitely not for a lot of our families. Gregerson says the next budget cycle does not start until July, so this early action bill would give $28 million to state agencies to help fund food programs two months early. But we just can't wait. You know, people are hungry every three hours. This is this is really about human suffering and, and getting ahead of that. The bill will be discussed in an executive session for the House Committee on Appropriations tomorrow in Olympia. In Seattle, Connor Board, King 5 News.